Hello friends, my name is Salman and you are watching my channel Solid Tech. In this video, I will discuss a very important topic of vSphere which is called uh, Life Cycle Manager and we, in short we call VLCM. So basically in my uh, interview questions, I uh, always ask the question from the candidates what is, what is the Life Cycle and Manager and 19%, 90% out of them is not able to answer me correctly what is the Life Cycle Manager. So in this uh, video, I will explain you in detail. Uh, I will give you the concept what is the life cycle manager. So please keep uh, concentration on this video. Otherwise, you will not grab the concept of the VMware life cycle manager because it is a very important topic. And uh, with the help of this topic, you will update and uh, upgrade your uh, VM VMware infrastructure environment. So basically, what is the life cycle management? For example, uh, this, uh, basically this is the process of installing a software or hardware in your data center, maintaining it through its life and decommissioning uh, it when the time comes. So first, uh, first of all, uh, we define what is the life cycle management. Uh, th this is the process of installing software or hardware and then maintaining it throughout its life and the finally decommissioning it when the time comes. So uh, let's take the example of a server, for example a physical server in your data center uh, and you are the IT administrator. Uh, you would manage the life cycle of that server. Uh, you would deploy it in your data center, you will install software, you will utilize it and it would maintain and you would maintain it its uh, or all over the life, keeping the hardware and software up to date. And uh, finally when this reaches the end of its life. Uh, it, when it goes old, you would uh, decommission it, uh, let's say you recycle it. So this is the general idea of, of the life cycle management. Now we take a look uh, in terms of VMware. So in VMware, uh, life, cycle, life cycle manager VLCM maintain the software running on your SXI host and clusters. So basically uh, we will see the uh, life cycle manager uh, in a great detail. So basically a uh, life cycle manager is run uh, uh, within the vCenter. Whenever you uh, launch the vCenter uh, server, you can easily access the your life cycle manager. Basically life cycle manager is automatically enabled in the vSphere client. Whenever you install the vSphere client, the, this uh, piece of software automatically install with the, help, uh, with, the with the vSphere client. You, 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 don't need, uh, you don't need to install it separately from the VMware vSphere. This uh, component is used the embedded VCSA PostgreSQL Green SQL database. So basically, it uses the vCenter uh, database. Uh, so it is used the PostgreSQL Green SQL database. And and the finally the it replaces the V update manager because in past we and we are using the software which is called which V Sphere Update Manager. Basically, this is this is the responsibility. It was the responsibility of V Sphere Update Manager to update all the uh, all the your servers, clusters, your hardware with the help of vSphere Update Manager. So basically uh, it uh, follows the declarative model. What is declarative model? Basically you define what you want to uh, to your host and cluster to run. So in, uh, in order to smooth operation you will define what uh, operating system, what version of VMware are using, what the patch level of uh, VMware you are using, what the vendor add-ons on this. Uh, uh, <coughs> version. So basically uh, there are the some highlights and features uh, regarding to the VL VLCM, uh, VMware Lifecycle Manager. It maintains the host version, firmware version, driver and optional vendor add-ons. So I will discuss all these three uh, one by one. What is the host version? Basically host version is the base version of host. For example you have a, a ESXi version of 6.5, 6.7 and finally uh, 7.0. So these are the host version and firmware driver. And what is the firmware driver? Firmware drivers are those drivers which come with the specific hardware vendor. For example, you are using HP or Dell servers in your environment. For those environments, you should also install some patches or some add-ons from the vendor side on, on top of your uh, ESXi server hypervisor. And some op optional uh, vendor add-ons. These are the add-ons which you add yourself. For example, you add on a Badacom uh, NIC card in your servers. So there are three types of uh, softwares are in your environment. One is the, one is the uh, base uh, base operating system, which is hypervisor. The other one is 
वेंडर स्पेसिफिक ओ एम ओ ई एम स्पेसिफिक फॉर एग्जाम्पल डेल एच पी लिनोवो सर्वर हार्डवेयर एंड अदर टाइप ऑफ हार्डवेयर विच यू एड ऑन योर सेल्स सो इट मस्ट बी यूजिंग दी स्पेल सेवन और हायर सो लाइफ साइकिल मैनेजर इज प्रेजेंट ओनली इन वर्जन सेवन पीयर इन पीयर वर्जन वी डोंट हैव अ लाइफ साइकिल मैनेजर सो दिस इज द न्यू 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 फीचर एंड ओनली अवेलेबल इन वी स्पेयर सेवन and later on version automatically check all the new software because in old uh, version you have to check manually the vendor specific firmware uh, the specific hardware you had uh, by manually yourself but now it will check all, all the things automatically itself and for simplified simplifies the deployment oem component as they are added to the image replacing the vendor specific iso so the good thing is uh, which i am very impressive of that uh, Uh, feature that you don't need to specify your uh, vendor specific uh, hardware it will sense automatically it's uh, it's uh, what uh, type of uh, hardware you are using for example you are using hp dell and it will collect the information and upgrade all these patching which itself with the help of this uh, new feature of uh, life cycle manager it allow you to ensure all the host in a cluster uses the same image for example if you have a 20 servers in your uh environment and in your cluster so you don't you don't need to go one by one to each server and then patch and update all these server it will create an image and deploy on cluster level so all the clusters uh, all the server in your cluster have the same uh, images uh, and you deploy in once uh, one time so this is the very good highlights that's why i'm very impressed with this feature so understanding the baseline uh, and images basically baseline is the old uh, old method of updating the uh, evm where environment and it is used is the uh, update manager and the image is the new uh, new uh, type of method which is used in uh, life cycle manager so we will uh, uh, understand what is the image and uh, what is the component of the image new type of uh, in, uh, deployment so basically there are three component of the image the one is called esxi version basically this is the base version image for example you have a image like 6.5 7 and uh, later on version so basically it's come only uh, with the version of 7 old version don't have this type of uh, functionality second you have uh, the second component is uh, vendor addons vendor what is vendor addons vendor addons are specific to specific vendors for example you using a, if you are using a dell server or hp server or lenovo server there are some type of uh, firmwares and driver which you should install on top of the uh, base version of the uh, Uh, base version of the ESXi hypervisor, and the finally is custom firmware and driver. For example, if you had any other uh, other uh, hardware on your server, for example, some special type of graphics cards or LAN card or network adapter card, so you need to install their drivers and update patches manually. But the uh, but in, in image based uh, deployment, you don't need to go through all these uh, component uh, one by one. it will sense all the component itself and they they build a image and deploy and you can deploy this image on your hardware so basically this is the some uh, differences between the old type of deployment and new type of de uh, deployment the old type of deployment uses the baseline and the new type of deployment is uses the images so vmware called the, the old type of deployment is the collection of bu bulletins and in new types of deployment we call it is a collection of components it is worked by applying applying the updates so you in old uh, deployment you need to install all the updates manually one by one but uh, in images type ensure specific image is always in use so there is only one image you should use across all your vm where infrastructure it is limited software recommendation so in old uh, deployment you don't need uh, you have to uh, select yourself what is the vendor specific uh, hardwares addons and firmwares but in uh, image type deployment full software recommendation is always present so you don't need to choose whether you, whether you are using a dial hp or, uh, or any other vendor it will uh, detect itself and deploy the uh, correct version of patches uh, to to the uh, installed hardware no portable outside the v center host uh, basically you don't uh, deploy this uh, outside of your host but in it is portable via spoc exporting so you in in the image backup you can export uh any type of uh, update from vmware website for example you have a portable hard drive and you export 
these patches, packages from portable hard drive to your environment. No remote office or branch office upgrade support. So in the old version, we don't have support for uh, remote office or branch offices. But uh, in new deployment, local depots are created and used for remote offices upgrade. So in uh, in uh, new type of deployment, you uh, you have a local depot. Basically, local. What is local depot? Like local depot is nothing but a repository where you have all the uh, all the software patches and components are present and finally there is no reset api and uh, image based back uh, image based deployment uses the rest api available basically what is the rest based apis basically this is are used for the uh, automation of the vmware vsphere uh, servers so it uh, it will uh, work with the vrealize manager so this is the basic uh, some difference basic difference between old uh, image ba uh, baseline uh, deployment with uh, with the new image based deployment so understanding the vsphere lifecycle manager depots so i will discuss what is the depots so as you can see uh, we can uh, access the this uh, type of menu if you go to the menu and collect, select to the lifecycle manager as i select this lifecycle manager basically this is the console of vcenter server i will show you in my home lab server but this is the snapshot of my office server so as you can see uh, there is a first step which is called image depot basically what is image depot basically it it is a repository uh, which containing all the vendors uh, specific add-ons components esxi new versions for example as you can say it has a t3 components esxi image depot has a three component esxi vendors vendors add-ons and components these are the components which i will dis uh, which i discuss uh, later uh, uh, previous in my lecture so this is the vmware uh, version so this is the version for example this is called the vm version 7.0 update 1c uh, and uh, uh, below this there is a vendor addons and below uh, and the uh, last last most we have a component so uh, on the left side you have seen then the last thing is 5 hour ago and next thing in 18 hours so basically this is tell us uh, which time this uh, this depot uh, sync with the vmware server so this is the last time it will uh, uh, sync uh, with the vm server with the, uh, before 5 hours ago and the next uh, sync is due in the 24 hours so i will show you in my home lab so this is my so as you can see this is my home lab cluster as you can see this is my home lab cluster so in order to access the lifecycle manager you go to the menu and there is an option uh, third last option is lifecycle manager click on this option so now you will go to the lifecycle manager so as you can see this is our lifecycle manager as you can see this is the image depot and uh, i told you there are three components of image, image uh, depot uh, portion like uh, esxi server so this is the version this basically this is the old version why because uh, on, the, on the top you can see it last thing is six months ago basically I, in my home i have a bandwidth issue that's why it is not uh, sync with the vm server and the next thing is 24 hours so this is the old version the mention here but in my office i have a latest version so as you can see this is the X, v, esxi versions basically this is the version this is the vendor specific add-ons for example if i click on this as you can see this is sts stc customer add-on and you can see here you can find the add-ons related to the server you are using your environment for example you are dal you are you have hp and you are lenovo server so there are the these type of component and finally you have a component so there you can see there is the component for example here you can see intel nvme so these are the components driver and pa and patches which you install manually yourself in your servers so here in life life manager you as you can see there is an there is an imported ISOs. So basically, these are the ISOs you can import manually if you want to download from somewhere. For example, I don't download uh, ISOs from my office, and I will import here. So I will click on the import ISOs, and I browse them, and I give the file name and click open. So it will uh, bring this uh, ISO file into my environment. So this in this way, I will uh, I upgrade my uh, whole. Uh, uh, vcenter server or my uh, my whole infrastructure server so basically the, the, in this lecture i will to, i will explain you 
वॉट आर द मेकेजम बिहाइंड द लाइफ साइकिल मैनेजर वी एन वी आर लाइफ साइकिल मैनेजर सो वंस यू ग्रैप द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दी वॉट द लाइफ साइकिल एंड मैनेजर सो यू कैन ईजीली डिप्लॉय वेरी ईजीली एंड यू कैन आंसर एनी क्वेश्चन इन एनी इंटरव्यू सो बिकॉज इन आई सर्च सर्च द यूट्यूब एंड अदर रिसोर्स ऑन दी वेब बट आई डोंट गेट द इनफ एक्सप्लेनेशन दे ओल टोल्ड मी हाउ टू Uh, how to uh, configure the life cycle manager in every video but they don't they don't uh, uh, tell me i don't get the information why we use it what is the what is the uh, logic behind this uh, we we is a life cycle manager so this video is take take too much time so i will uh, make an another video uh, for demonstrating the other uh, uh, life things so thank you again thank you very much for your time and uh, i will uh, if you like this video uh, give some comments in uh, comment box and if you find any video uh, uh, which describe the whole scenario in youtube please give me the link in description or uh, in uh, in comments box and if you like this video please uh, share this video with your friends and click the like button Th again thank you very much for your time